So, I just wanted to record some of my thoughts and feelings. Um, just struggling, sorry, with feeling like I missed God's heart for certain people and like like I decided where to put my focus and then I asked God to bless it instead of putting time into maybe people who needed me more and I understand that you can't always think like that you know we all have jobs and things that we do and sometimes that's just life <laughs> but you know I just don't feel like I represented God well to my dad <laughs> I mean God can represent himself but you know he knew I was a Christian and I just didn't <laughs> just wasn't as present as I should have been I wasn't as consistent as I should have been and I just feel like I just feel like a hypocrite. I just feel like I <laughs> like I shouldn't maybe be talking to anybody about serving God because I missed what was right in front of me. That's not God's heart. <laughs> Vanity of vanities. It's all vanity. Maybe that's just really true because I feel more like <laughs> selfish than than I do like a servant. I feel like, I feel like I let God down in this <laughs> because he says you are the salt of the earth but if the salt has become tasteless how can it be made salty again <laughs> it is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled underfoot by men and I, I feel like <laughs> I feel like useless salt <laughs> I was not a part of healing wounds. I was not a part of being God's hands and feet. Like I spent so much time putting up boundaries that I do think I should have. But I spent so much time doing that, that, like, I just should have spent more time reassessing when to take them down. And I know God doesn't see me as useless. I know that. And I know that he's not saying that I should be just thrown out. That's what I would do, maybe. I know that's not God. But I feel like that's what he should do. <laughs> like I didn't do this. I don't feel really like a light. <laughs> It's 
says you are the light of the world. A city set on a hill cannot be hidden, nor does anyone light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on the lampstand, and gives light to all who are in the house. <laughs> Let your light shine before men in such a way that they may see your good works. Glorify your Father who is in heaven. <laughs> and you know, I just don't feel like I did that. I don't feel like I <sighs> represented the love of God. Like, The hope that I have in Christ was not conveyed through my life with him. <laughs> and it's just hard. <laughs> I came back from his house the other day and my GPS said that it was a 33 minute drive. It's like 33 minutes. I could have made that drive so more often, so much more often. And if he could drive, he would have too. hard <laughs> I was reading about the Pharisees <laughs> they just do things you know out of habit or because they think they understand God and I know that's not really me but I kind of feel like it I just do I just, I feel like, <laughs> I feel like my heart is not in the right place. I mean, I don't think that's true, but then, <laughs> I don't know, my actions kind of, how do I reconcile that? How do I reconcile that? How do I reconcile thinking a thought, but my actions being different? So, <laughs> the scripture says, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. <laughs> and I'm so glad because. Yeah, that was my dad. <laughs> I was so discouraged and lonely. And I just, I know I could have done more, been more. I could have been more. Maybe he didn't need me to do anything for him, you know? I'm not that self important. I'm just saying. I'm just saying I regret it. And the next statement says, Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. <laughs> and I know that grace is undeserved favor. I do know that. <laughs> but. I feel like I deserve that comfort. <laughs> you know, and I'm not trying to not feel the weight of my choices. That's just something that 
think I need, you know, I want to do better. I want to be better. Not because I don't want to feel this way again, but because, <laughs> because it's right. <laughs> and <laughs> because I didn't reflect the love that God gave me. Not enough. <laughs> and it's not about heaven. I know I'm going to heaven. <laughs> but he's so good to me. And I don't know. I just I just got in my head and I told myself what was important instead of really asking God what was important. And that's, that's what I'm wrestling with right now. <laughs> and it just makes me feel disingenuous when I think about talking to people about the Lord. I don't think God loves me less or anything like that. I just... <laughs> no. Maybe... Maybe God doesn't talk about forgiving yourself. This is just hard. Even though I know He forgives me, it's hard. <laughs> That's all for now.